Good morning. Good morning. One of the most well-known and profound verses in the Bible is in John chapter 1, and it says, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Wow. It's just so profound, isn't it? And, and, and that word for word doesn't just mean a word. It means rationality or reason or, in fact, conversation discourse is anything so mate so it makes me think that god is a conversation which requires <laughs> partners <laughs> and it says god uh, the word became flesh the conversation took on human shape and if you think of the amount of times that conversation is brought into the bible hey lord we pray for this one thought that you might generate such an excitement within us that you take us in a wholly new direction and teach us what it means to walk in relationship with you. In Jesus' name. Mm, amen. 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 Please, Lord. I guess that's how relationships work, doesn't it, Val? You know, through through conversation. Yes, yes. <laughs> the, the bounce back, the uh, mutual participation, the interactiveness, you know. Yes. The rebuke, you know. <laughs> Like exploring something together, you find out more because of exploring okay. it together. Okay, yes, yes. I think of that bit where God said to Abraham, shall we withhold from Abraham that which we're about to do? You know, it's like I'm going to share with Abraham. I'm going to talk, open my, open myself to him. Yes, yeah. that's a very interesting conversation because so often we think our conversation must produce something okay and fair enough sometimes but really that just seemed like abraham having a natter with god or god having a natter with abraham well abraham was allowed to negotiate wasn't he to talk to talk talk god down and you know god <laughs> sort of permitted it yeah, that's right. So the conversation did have an outcome, it right? Did, of course, yes, yeah. Of course. God was challenging Abraham through the conversation, and now this conversation has become flesh. And so God's challenging us through the conversation, which is Jesus. Wow. Which is the human, the human Jesus. Yes. Yeah, so the Christ from eternity has now become flesh, become flesh, and and is interacting. It's it's amazing, isn't it? Right. But you know the bit, you know, when uh, Moses was inv was told to take his shoes off uh, in Exodus chapter three, because the place is this. Whole, I always saw that as a statement of respect. But if, of course, as well, it's a statement of kick your shoes off, be it be at home. I want you to be yourself, Moses. I want to talk to you. Yeah. Wow. That's wonderful. It goes again and again, doesn't it? Like with Job, stand up, brace yourself like a man. I'm going to question <laughs> you. you. You know, it's, it's like God requires conversation. He, he, he asks for it. I uh, suppose when you think about Jesus, you think about someone it's easy to visualise. Okay. And easy to get to know through reading his life story. Yes, yes. So it makes it easier to converse with him because he it's like giving god a face as you always say yes yes that's right no one has seen the father but uh, no one has seen god at any time but his son reveals him to us you know mm. that verse there yeah i guess the thinking processes of god are incomprehensible you know my thoughts are not your thoughts but now um, now his his ways are his ways are clarified i'm the way the truth and the life i'm i'm the way that you live i'm the way that you the direction you need to go are the instructions i need to know and and the life the only satisfying kind of kind of life that there is to live and that's all through through conversation isn't it yes yes wonderful and you change you change and you are, what we're talking about here is the way that God resources us. And he resources us through relationship. And he establishes our heart and he undergirds us. But he also negotiates with us and goes according to how, how much we understand, you know. Yes, because when you think of Moses and 
the burning bush and God saying to him, go and tell Pharaoh to set my people free. Moses says, oh, gosh, no, I can't do that. Yes, and, yeah, yeah. And went through the repertoire of his weaknesses of his and inadequacies. reasons why he yeah. couldn't do it. Yes, and yes. we're just the same, aren't we? Sure, sure. Uh, initially, anyway. But he said, that. but the answer is, I am, will be with you. I am, will be with you. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. wonderful. It's, I love that, where he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I guess it's like... God is speaking through creation. God's speaking through history. God's speaking through the law and the prophets, you know. But it's like a radio signal that gets distorted. And sometimes we don't hear it very clearly. And when it says the word was made flesh, it's like, and now the word is coming through loud and clear. And we beheld his glory. Uh, the law came from Moses, but grace and truth came through, came through Jesus. Yeah. Wonderful. Do you want to pray for us, honey? Mm -hmm. That's just so great. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Oh, Lord Jesus, we just love the way that you became flesh and dwelt among us. Your word is just exciting. And we want to go deeper into this conversation Amen. that Amen. you've started. Wow. We want to know what it is to follow you, to abide in you. We want to know what it is to be directed by the Holy Spirit. Yes. And so we pray today that we might be in conversation with you throughout the day. Hmm. We pray for our friends and ourselves that we might see you smile. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen.